Welcome back everyone. KFOX 14 got exclusive access to the Border Patrol's canine training program and that program at Fort Bliss trains all of the agency's canine dogs nationwide. KFOX 14 News at 5's Harrison Parker saw those dogs in action today as they prepare to graduate. He joins us now live in the studio with a look at what they do. That's right, we were the only station in town today to see the more than 60 dogs and their instructors before they graduate from Border Patrol's Canine Academy. Now, much of the agency's canine units are trained here in El Paso at Fort Bliss, which means many canine units you see at Customs came from this base. I got to spend my morning seeing firsthand what these dogs are capable of. Passive seats. Good. That's Bassi, a two-year-old Belgian Malamute on the last day of training. He's been training to work at a busy border crossing in the southwest United States. And we do a selection test to make sure these dogs have the critical drives to be able to do our job. Agent Jaime Lopez says the dogs are brought from all over the country to be trained alongside their instructor. He's, he was green dog. He had no formal training. So when we purchased them, um, detection is his first primary job. So this is new to him and this is what he'll be doing the rest of his career. The Academy trains dogs for federal, state, and local agencies with a wide variety of specialties. Um, we do all the formal training for five disciplines that we carry. Uh, concealed human, narcotics detection, human remains detection, patrol, search and rescue, and track and trail. The training has dogs live with their instructor for much of the 12 week course, creating a bond that is vital for the dog to learn how and when to do his job. Anytime they see you in uniform, they know it's time to work compared to maybe being regular clothes, t-shirt and jeans. Um, but the dog does get accustomed to uniform on, truck is started, time to work. After graduation, Bassey will live with his instructor for the rest of his life, even after retirement. I want my partner to love life. And once we start working, we're working as a team and we're, we're protecting each other and we're working together as a team. There are 180 dogs at the Fort Bliss Academy right now waiting to be trained in place with their new partners. Border Patrol told me they have roughly 10 to 12 of these graduations a year providing new dogs for service. We'll have that ceremony covered tomorrow. Reporting from the studio, Harrison Parker, KFOX 14 News at 5.